What's going on guys? I know it's been a little while since I had a chance to drop a video and, and speak to you guys on some things that have been on my mind and, and been on my heart and really to encourage everybody and see exactly where your progress is this year. I want you to take a second and reflect on the last five months of this year or the last four months and really, really ask yourself the question, have I been giving all that I have? Have I been doing everything I possibly can to make 2016 the best year of my life? You know, back on December 31st, January 1st, I know a lot of us had, you know, this, these grand ideas and, and some things that we really, really wanted to accomplish in our business lives and personal lives and family lives and for our finances. And we were determined to get these things done. But I ask you, how are you progressing? All right. Have you had a chance to look and gauge? Hey, these are the areas that I really, really need to focus on. Have you given yourself that type of clarity on the vision for your 2016? I want everybody to really, really reflect on that right now, because it's so important to uh, make sure that at every point, whether it's on a weekly basis, monthly basis, or even now that we're approaching the halfway point this year, that you really, really reflect and make sure that you're doing everything you can to make this your very best life. Um, in this video, I want to cover three main points that will make sure that the rest of this year will put you in a position that you want to be in that is better than anything that you may have experienced before. Um, I know the principles are pretty much universal and you've probably read them before. Um, I know these are the things that really changed my life here in the last three years, notably in the last year and a half. When I raised my standards in these three areas, it took my life to a completely brand new level. You know, I, let, I hear a lot of people talking about, hey, I want my business life to be completely different. I want my personal life to be completely different. I want to lose more weight. But the problem is a lot of people don't get the results that they're looking for because they make it a, a, a should right? They make it something that they should do. They make it something that they're going to try. But, but those, don't, those things don't make lasting change. Lasting change truly comes from when you make a decision and make your standard something better than what you've ever experienced before. So if my goal is to make a certain amount of money, then I can't say I should be doing these income generating activities. I should have made the phone calls. I should have put more time into my personal development. I should go a little bit harder in my business. No, lasting change comes from changing your standards and raising your standards. So when it's a standard for you, when it's a must, you're going to make sure that thing happens, right? The three things that I want to talk to you guys about, first and foremost, what will change anybody's life here in the next six months or even the next year is read more books, okay? Read more books. You know, the funniest thing about it is there's so many things that you can find in books. I think all the problems in the world will be solved by all the books in the world. But unfortunately, we say that we don't have enough time to read. Well, unfortunately, you're just not looking at the time that you do have. Even if you were to spend a 10 minutes per day reading some type of book, not necessarily just any book, not just any fictional or, or non-fictional book that has nothing to do with areas of your life that you're looking to grow, really, really focus on the areas that are important to you, uh, whether it is your finances, your love life, love, whether it is your relationships, whether it is your business, whatever that may be, there's certain books that you can read 10 minutes a day that will add value to your life. All right. Um, <laughs> I think I heard a wise man once say, if you want to keep something from somebody, put it in a book. I think most people right now are reading. Actually, they are reading a book every single day. But unfortunately, that's Facebook. You know, as you scroll through that timeline, you don't really have a say so on the content that you're taking in. And, and, a, and a wise scripture once said that uh, as a man believes in his heart, so is he. So everything that you're taking in through your ears, everything that you're taking in through your eyes are deciding what you're believing in your heart. And that is what results you continue to show in your life. So I encourage everybody to read more books. You know, some of the books that I would recommend, Think and Grow Rich to start off with. Um, what to Say When You Speak to Yourself by Dr. Shad Helmstetter. Uh, you can read The Total Money Makeover. Uh, I believe uh, Tony Robbins has a great money book that just came out. There's so many books that are available. And guys, books have a power to them that you can only have 
by reading them. Audiobooks are great. Um, I definitely have an audio university in my car. I encourage everybody to get into audible.com if you guys want to use that as a resource to get some reading done and take some good content in on a daily basis. But read more books. I would make it your goal to read one book per month. All right. Once you get to that, read one book per week. Um, I think I think Ty Lopez, everybody has their personal opinions on this gentleman, but his results show um, he reads a different book every single day. Um, if you guys follow him on YouTube or even on his podcast, he he gives a description of all of these books. So I would encourage everyone read more books. If you want some more ideas on these books, feel free to contact me and I'll help you guys out. The second thing that I would recommend is raise your standards with your circle of influence, your environment, namely your friends. Okay. Hey, listen, all of us have those friends. All of us has, have those friends that we grew up with that we absolutely love to life. We have those family members, those people that we spend the most time with. But just like a wise man once said, your income is going to be the sum total of the five people that you associate with most. The reason why I said read books is because books are just like having a personal mentor. There's a gentleman or a lady that spent their entire life learning on one subject and decided to write a book explaining all of those details. So guess what? You can skip the steps that you need to and that inadvertently you would only learn from your own personal experience by learning from someone else's, right? So read more books. There's so many audios. There's so many podcasts that are going to help you be around the influences of a Napoleon Hill, of an Earl Nightingale, of these billionaires and millionaires and incredible, incredible people that will pour into you great information. And as mom always said, good stuff in, great stuff out. Guys, you take in the right information time and time again, you're going to guarantee your success over the next year. Guys, the people that you hang around, you know, your business influences, the friends that you hang around, understand that the conversations that you're having are affecting your life, right? I can't get into the the um, the depth of that right now, but just understand that your environment is everything. The things that people are saying to you on a daily basis is affecting your results. So raise your standards with the, the circle of influence you have. I'm not saying cut anybody off, but there may need to be a season of separation. While you're in this keen a sense of accomplishment in 2016 and you have things you want to do, I encourage you to hang around the people that celebrate you. If you're not in a business right now where people are celebrating you, I invite you to reach out to myself. I am hiring, right? I'm looking for great partners, right? There's so many people that you can hang around. If there's someone that you know of that's having the success that you want to in that area of life that you're focused on, reach out to them, right? A lot of us are so encouraged by people wanting more information, to be inspired, to be empowered, to move on in their lives. Please make that a, a central part of your life. Hang around amazing, amazing people, all right? And last but not least, raise your standards with your goals. There's, there's so many acronyms as far as goals are concerned. Uh, there's so many different ways to set goals. Guys, the one thing that I've seen time and time again that's helped me in my own life is make sure that you're clear, Make sure that you are 100% clear about certain, certain areas of your life, your business life, your personal life, your spirituality, your contribution, you know, your finances. Be specific about the things that you want to accomplish this week and make sure you do everything in your power to seek that out and make that happen. So guys, if you go ahead and follow those three steps, we'll cover a lot more. I know I haven't been on here in a little while. Business has been absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm going to try to really, really focus on getting more content out. Um, I've had some requests for that. So I really appreciate all the support from everybody. And as I always like to say, we will see you at the top, but not from the top because you deserve it. Have an amazing day, guys.